the France, France's influence on their culture, there are certain aspects that are disappearing. If I thought that the you know, French government was doing anything to help to promote this whole local culture, etc. And my, I, I, I am no expert on it. Uh, I'm no sociologist, but as far as I'm concerned, uh, the French, as I say, Guadeloupe is the tropical paradise. You go down there, you have a good time. Every time there are a few riots, they go down there, uh, meet with the local leaders, say we're going to do something. Once they take the plane and they're off again, you know, the Guadeloupians have to sort out their own problems. So a lot of young people, what I was telling you, a lot of young people have decided that they need to take charge of their own cultural heritage and that it's not up to the government. And so they're taking charge of this. They're manufacturing their toys. They're uh, putting on their, all their displays. They're going from village to village teaching the young children about, you know, about their heritage. Hmm? Okay, yeah. Eleanor. <laughs> Another Slum Islands where um, the American, like my dad went to, um, I forgot where, but he went to this one island where there was, um, they were still into disco. Like it was, it was like in the 70s, but like or 80s, but but Amer in America that bad had already run, like kind of finished. So is there like any um, American like things that are kind of gone in America yes. that are still there? That's why you know that Guadeloupe is French because they still, sorry Monsieur Toomey, they still dance Le Rock. <laughs> you know you're in France because you can't go to a party without someone inviting you to rock and roll and people your age too. So then you know that Guadeloupe is part of France because that is the most French thing. Uh, here in America you have the, what's it, the electric slide, oh, yeah. uh, that dance, you go to every wedding and everyone wants to do that. Huh? And I can never, I can never do it. I'm always doing the wrong thing. In Guadeloupe you do Le Rock. So it's, I don't know when Le Rock went out, uh, rock and roll went out in, of style in America when in the 1960s. Mm, it's alive and well. Oh really? Well, oh well. For the baby boomers. For the baby boomers, it's alive and well. So you see, yeah. So, but for Eleanor, touchy subject. Yes, for Eleanor, it's different. Uh, is part of your hypothesis for the timing of the change? Uh, does that have anything to do with the availability of uh, television in, in the island? Uh, part of it, uh, because in 1970 when I visited Guadeloupe, a TV set was not part of the whole. I mean, uh, only your rich friends had a TV and everyone would go, all the kids would go once a week to look at the one channel. Uh, <laughs> There was just one channel and a black and white TV and everyone, this was a big deal. Uh, uh, so a TV was not standard. What I think closer to that is the effect of technology, right? The rise in technology because it just seems like a curious uh, uh, shift in this uh, intense uh, uh, way in which Guadalupeans act, everything is accelerated now. They are very, very modern. You go there, and apart from the fact that you know that you're in a Caribbean island, you could just as well be in Miami. Mm -hmm. Everything has, <coughs> has changed. And so I think the timing came more with the rise in, in technology. Okay, and uh, the buzzword globalization, uh, we, some would argue that that started in 1492, so what we won't <laughs> discuss that tonight, uh, just the modern use of the term globalization. What I find interesting is that uh, 30, 40 years ago, uh, each, everyone wanted to be different. People wanted to be distinct. Each uh, teenager wanted to dress differently and, and, and look special. Now there's a uh, uh, in, in Guadeloupe, there's a movement. They all want to be the same. Everyone wants to have the same cell phone and the same iPod and the same uh, all those gadgets. They, they're, they're running toward a sameness, which uh, in uh, 30, 40 years ago, people wanted uniqueness. So all these trends, I find, coincide with that, just that rise in technology, which is uh, another part of another chapter that I'll be dealing with. Is there an active um, culture department or a, de a department or agency in the government that is geared towards cultural preservation and will you be able to interact with them at any point in time? Um, yes, to the first part, yes. 
uh, and no, not much, not formally, informally. You have to be there. Uh, Gu Guadeloupe is interesting uh, in, in terms of it. It's, it's a very open society, but a very closed society. And there's certain, um, I don't know, I call them pr protocol. There's certain protocol that you have to observe. You have to be introduced. Uh, you have to wait. You can't, for example, I couldn't go with any sort of survey and stop people at the street and say, oh, bonjour, you know, I'm from Stevens Point, Wisconsin, and I was wondering if you would like to share some of your experiences with me. Mm -hmm. They would say, oh, c'est américain, hein? c'est pas, hein? ils exagèrent quand même, hein? ils exagèrent les américains. Hein? So uh, you have to be introduced, and so it would have taken a long time. If I could do a lot more if I were there for a whole year, but again, there are certain, um, there, there, uh, certain um, organizations that are being formed, but again, everyone is busy and everyone is working and trying to get an appointment is like pulling teeth. It's really difficult, but yes, there is such, uh, and as I say, everything now, Guadeloupians are taking charge of their own. Uh, so it's very healthy in that sense. I'm going to invite uh, folks to, if they have other questions, to bring them up to Beverly uh, on your own. Come on up and see the, uh, the goods up here, as they say. And I just want to thank uh, Beverly for giving us a wonderful lecture. And I wish her the best in her research. like to thank just very quickly uh, Mark for everything because I am very as my students all know I am not very techno savvy <laughs> yes very challenged and he made it really easy and also I would like to thank Martin who has helped me uh, in at other times with the larger project with all and uh, with other guests that I've invited. He's always there, very helpful to me. And so I would like to, act, I did acknowledge them in writing, but would like to just say thank you to Michael. <laughs> thank you. thank you all again. We'll see you in February.